Check, check. Check one, two. Okay. Oh. All right. What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning into the podcast. I'm not going to lie. This is kind of strange. Just me being down here by myself with a couple of cameras uh, talking to the camera. So um, I guess, yeah, the reason I wanted to talk to you guys today was uh, just to kind of put an idea out there that I'm that I want to do. Uh, I guess I just wanted to sit down and explain to you guys what uh, what I was thinking. If you guys have listened to the podcast recently, you probably know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, I guess I wanted to explain why I want to do it and kind of my motivations behind it. My goal for the 2020 season is to race the whole MX Tour Outdoor Series uh, in Canada as well as some AMA Outdoors as well. Um, and then from the last round in Walton, I want to ride my road bike home from, yeah, all the way from Walton to Calgary, which is about 3,500 kilometers. And I wanted to do this to raise money for mental health and concussion awareness. <clears throat> yeah, so I guess uh, kind of my inspiration behind this is this is something that I've struggled with throughout my life, like from a pretty young age. And I don't think that it's that concussions are really taken seriously enough. And I don't think that people really understand the implications they can have on your mental health and kind of the long term effects of concussions if you don't really take the time to let them heal. So I guess I kind of got the inspiration. I've I've listened to a couple of podcasts where there's people that have that want to run across uh, the, the United States or they want to hike the Mongolian River or whatever. And every time I listen to one of these stories, I kind of get like, man, I really want to do something like that. And I think that'd be really cool. And then I guess, yeah, I just one day I was listening to one and I'm like, yeah, I want, what if, what, what if I did a ride across Canada to raise money for mental health and, and concussions? And then ever since then, I haven't really been able to get my mind off it. So uh, I guess I'm kind of just bent, hell bent on it. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of a crazy thing, but uh, yeah, I guess another thing is just my past experiences with having, uh, you know, a lot of concussions, probably more than I should be to still be racing. But um, yeah, I just want to, I want to, I guess I heard a quote not too long ago. It says, um, be the person that you needed when you were younger. Uh, and I guess that's, I needed someone to really kind of show me the way with the, the road to recovery with, with concussions. And I guess when I was younger, I didn't really, no one really knew how serious concussions can be. And I wanted to, I guess I just want, I want to bring that to light and show people because no one really knows how serious concussions can be until it's too late. They don't really, they always think, oh yeah, you know, it won't happen to me or I'll be all right. But yeah, they can definitely impact your mental health. I'm When I was 15, I had, I had three concussions within about three weeks and that was really what showed me how serious it can be. Uh, I basically didn't get out of bed for three or no, it was like six months. Uh, my parents thought I was, I don't, I don't know, like they were calling psychiatrists and they thought I was all kinds of messed up, but it was just concussions and they can have a huge impact on your brain and especially when you don't let them heal and you get repeated blows to the head and then, you, yeah, you get like a, a concussion. You don't let it heal and you get another concussion. You don't let it heal. You get another concussion. You don't let it heal. So... I guess that's kind of the message I really, really, really want to get across is that, you know, you have to let your concussions heal. And even if it doesn't seem that serious at the time, it's it's important to let it heal. Um, yeah, I guess I've been at a point where I've hit my head. I didn't even remember where the track went, and I decided it was still a good idea to go race because I didn't know any better. Um but that's really the message I want to get across that you, you have to let these things heal or you can be suffering from this for suffering from these things for the rest of your life. Like this is something I, I still struggle with to this day. And even I go to a doctor multiple times a month to go 
and rehab these things. So, and another thing I wanted to bring light to is, um, there, there is help out there. I know when I first had my really, uh, you know, hard struggles with it, I kind of went to my family doctor and he was pretty, I was like hoping for a, for a, for a referral to a concussion specialist or something like that. And he was pretty quick to write me a prescription for antidepressants. So it kind of feels hopeless at that point. And a lot of people don't really know where to turn. And I think just putting to light that there is help out there. I have found a really good doctor, uh, Dr. John Battershill. Uh, he specializes in concussions, Lyme disease, uh, things along those lines. Okay, yeah, I guess if you're listening to this and you're like, why are you still racing if you have all these concussion issues? Um, I guess through uh, Dr. John and Revelation Health Center, I found a firm enough uh, rehab facility where I feel confident that I, if I do hit my head again, I can go back there and and f- get back to normal. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, moto is what I love to do and it's my it's my passion, so... Uh, them being able to help me get back to myself has been a huge part of why I want to do this ride. So, uh, I just, yeah, I just want to show people that there is help out there and you can get back to where, to where you were. So, and people just need to know that that kind of treatment is out there. Uh, I know like I was lost. I didn't know where to turn until finally I found, I came across, uh, Revelation Health Center, which is, I mean, it sounds cliche, but it literally saved my life. So, I mean, I just want people to know that there is that there is a way out, and it does get easier. Cause yeah, you know, it doesn't, it always, it doesn't always seem like there's a clear path out, and I want to, I want people to know that there is. I guess other than that, uh, it it always seems like. Every time someone's struggling or you hear about someone taking their own life, it's like people are always like, oh, I wish there was something we could do. I wish there was something we could do. Well, maybe I just feel like maybe there is something we can do. And even if this only impacts a small amount of people or even just one person, it'll be worth it. So, uh, yeah, so f- with fundraising, it'll be uh, uh, I don't I don't have all the details sorted out yet. So stay tuned for that. But there will be. There's two different organizations um I've been talking to and uh yeah so it's one is going to be mental health uh one is going to be concussions and I think these two things go hand in hand so suffering from, from concussions leads to lots of mental health issues so that's why I want to deal with or I want to donate to both of these organizations so if there's anyone out there that wants to, to help out in any way um, I'm obviously not as spra- not afraid to spend my own money, but you know, it's, it's going to be a month out of my life. So, uh, yeah, any help I can get with hotels or anything like that, anything at all equipment, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a, a big journey. So anything, um, also going to need a, if anyone wants to help out with driving, I mean, my wife will help out with driving for sure, but she can only take maybe a week out of out of the month that I'm planning on doing this uh, off of work. So if there's anyone else that wants to help me drive for even if it's just for a few days, I don't know, like I got to figure this all out. So, I mean, I'm, I'm sure we'll figure it out, but yeah, anyone that wants to help out or knows anything about fundraising that I don't like, I don't know much about fundraising. So if anyone has more experience with it, uh, reach out, let me know. Um, yeah, if anyone has any suggestions on how I should, what I should do, or how I can make this thing better, I just wanna, I wanna bring us all together, and hopefully this can help some people. Uh, that's my main goal. Uh, looking forward to it. And yeah, uh, thanks you guys for tuning in.